I want food security. I want to know that my kids are taken care of. Don't you? Okay, keep following along with me. Why should you stock rice in your depression era pantry? Rice is still relatively cheap, even though inflation has risen the price of it. Rice stores very, very, very well, very easy. And you can do a lot of things with rice, guys, okay? Rice is so versatile. You can make the rice and you can put it in your stir fry, so you can stretch that stir fry with those meats and those vegetables, and so then your food's gonna go longer, you're gonna fill your kids' bellies up, they're gonna stay fuller longer. You can make a fried rice with any of that leftover rice that you have. So that's another side dish that you can use the next day for an entirely different meal. You can use it as a soup filler when you just add that to your chicken, chicken and vegetable soup. If you don't have egg noodles, that's a really good different type to change up things so your kids get a variety of foods so they feel like they're still eating more even though you're giving them filler foods. You can make a rice pudding with leftover, your leftover rice that you've made for like your stir fry, say you've made too much, then you're just gonna put some brown sugar and some cinnamon and some milk in that, and then that's a dessert that your kids can eat, which my kids love, and then bonus, right? When you eat all of their food, then they get this little dessert that they get to have at the end, and it also encourages them to eat their meal. You can also use it as a burrito filler. So you take your tortilla, uh, you put your eggs in there, or your pork, your shredded pork, whatever, you know, you stretch it with that rice, you add some tomatoes, whatever you have, um, fresh vegetables from the garden, you have a whole nother meal, guys. You can use it to stuff as a filler into meatloafs and meatballs, right? So another filler, you're gonna stretch that meat. You're not using as much hamburger. Your kids are still going to feel full. Again, that is our goal here, right? How can we make our budget for food costs go down? Also, another thing you can make rice fritters, mix some eggs into them, fry them in a little bit of oil, plop them into your air fryer, that's a little bit healthier. You can make stuffed peppers, so those nice lovely peppers, those hamburgers, again, filler food, you're gonna fill, use less meat. That's how you survive, guys. We're talking about surviving. You can also use them as casserole fillers. So I like to make, I take a can of chicken and some broccoli, cream and mushroom soup, drop in some rice. I don't even have to cook the rice. I plop it all into the oven. It bakes. I have a whole nother meal for my kids. My kids eat on that for two to three days because that's how I like to do it. I make one meal at a time. My kids know that the next day, that's what we're eating. But I incentivize it with a good dessert, like Jello. Jello is so cheap, so easy too, as well. Okay, here we go again, guys. How do I store this rice now that I want to put it in my depression air pantry, right? Because I know that I want to have filler foods, cheap filler foods that I can rely on to feed my kids for a year. Again, I stock one five gallon bucket because that's what I use in a year. Okay, that's the goal, what you use in a year. We're not going to prep for 10 years. I don't have the space for that. You might, that's great. I don't want to invest in my lower bags. I'm prepping on a budget to feed my kids. That is the goal. I want food security. I want to know that my kids are taken care of. Don't you? Okay, keep following along with me. All right, five gallon bucket. I don't have a gamble lid on this because I'm still <laughs> in the process of switching out all my lids to gamble lids. In the meantime, I have this really nice snap on lid. You can see, I have it labeled as rice. All right, let's open it up. I have some here that I also haven't dumped. And I store the plastic bag in there because then I have the directions if I were ever to need it because sometimes my kids make things and they're not always like, oh, you know, you just put some water in the thing and throw some rice in it and you make it, right? So they want to read the instructions. Okay, then I have my beautiful rice. Can I see that? Yep. And in there. And again, guys, one 2,000 cc oxygen absorber per five gallon bucket is going to keep this rice fresh and moisture free so that it stores. Again, those gamma airtight lids are really what we want to invest in. But if you're just starting out, snap on lids are going to work great until you can afford more. And I'm still, because we've been, we've been trying to prepare for food security for, I say like since 2015. So I still haven't got all my lids, but okay, we're on a budget. We're working through it. You'll get there. You can do it a little bit at a time, right? So you bring that rice home. Yes, there, there are bugs that can be found in rice. Pop in your freezer for three days. You're gonna kill off anything that's gonna come with it that you don't wanna keep. And when I pour it in here, I look at it and make sure I've got really good rice. And then I put my lid on it and it stores, guys. This is gonna last me a year. That's how I do that. Another really important item and staple that I think you should have in your food pantry. All right, happy preparedness, happy prepping.